Hello students. In this video, we will discuss about the case of projections of lines when the line is perpendicular to one of the principal planes and it is parallel to the other principal plane. Okay. So, this particularly in this case, it is perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP. Okay. Your line is perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP, right? So let us discuss the question. The question says a line AB 35 mm long is perpendicular to VP and its end B is 15 mm from HP and 10 mm from VP. The extremities of the line lie in the same quadrants, draw its projections in all the four quadrants. So this is the question. The question says the length of line is equal to 35 mm, right? Okay, and it is perpendicular to VP. So obviously if it is perpendicular to VP, it will be parallel to HP. So parallel to HP is not given in the question. So it is quite obvious. Okay, so end B of the line is given 15 mm from HP and 10 mm from VP, right? So basically, Again, in this question, it is given that you have to draw the projections in all the four quadrants. So when it is given to you, you have to draw the projections in all the four quadrants. That means above HP, in front of VP, below HP, behind VP, this is not given. Okay, because you know the distances from HP and VP are given. So automatically, if it is in the first quadrant, it will be above HP, in front of VP and so on till fourth quadrant. Okay, so extremities of the line lie in the same quadrant means the line is not crossing the quadrant. Okay, it is in the same quadrant. The whole line lie in the same quadrant. Okay, so let us start drawing. Let us move to the AutoCAD. So let us draw the XY line first. Let us draw it in the first quadrant. Turn on ortho mode. Let us increase the line weight. So the basics of quadrant system already these have been explained by physical demonstration in the previous videos. Right. So please go through those because the thorough knowledge of quadrant system should be there until and unless you do not have the knowledge of this quadrant system you will not be able to draw these right so let us draw the projection line first so it is given in the question that the line is 35 mm long and end b is 15 mm from hp 10 mm from vp right So 15 mm from HP, let us take distance 15 mm from HP and then 10 mm from VP. This is 10 mm. Okay. The line is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. Right. So let us draw a line which is parallel to HP. It is 35 mm long. The line is equal to 35 mm. Let us draw the line. Let us increase the line weight of the line. Let it be equal to 1 mm. Okay. Now, multi-line text command. Let us name this as small a. Increase the size, let it be equal to 4.5 and let the text style be Times New Roman. So this is equal to A. So I'm taking this as A because the line is AB. So then let us write it towards the side of this. 
then again you select this copy this control c control v so this will be b this is b now when you see it from the front the front view will be a point only right it will be a point so let us mark a point first so for that first of all let us go to p type command point style let us select a appropriate point style go to point command multiple points so click over here turn on object snap click over here so this is the front view that will be visible to you so now when you view it from the front point a will be visible first then point b will come right so the name of the front view will be the nomenclature will be we will be writing it as a dash b dash it will be a dash b dash right so do not get confused it it will be a dash b dash because when i am viewing it from the front it is a first and then b comes right therefore it will be a dash b dash let us do the dimensioning also f3 object snap so this is equal to 15 it is given to us in the question again this is equal to 10 this is also given right then the length of line or the true length of the line is equal to let us just move it over here length of line is equal to 35 mm so let us make it over here so this is 35 mm control v this is capital x the reference line capital x for reference line again control v we edit this make it y control v so y right so this is the solution in the first quadrant okay this is the solution in the first quadrant let us just write it down this is first quadrant right let us draw this in the second quadrant now so in the second quadrant since the distances from hp and vp are same as we had drawn in the first quadrant so we will just again copy this figure over here let us copy this let us select the figure first go to copy command take this as the base point let us just place it over here right so we will just select the lower part of the figure we will select this select this lower part of the figure and go to mirror command let us go to mirror command just take a mirror image of this so select the object again press center specify the first point of mirror line let us say this is the first point of mirror line this is the second point of mirror line just click over here erase the source object yes i want to erase the source object click on yes so this is the solution in the second quadrant you just need to move the dimensions a bit so that these are visible clearly let us move the dimension the 15 mm let us move it towards the left let us say this is 15 okay let us move this 10 also Thirty five also I can move on the left. Fifteen MM. This is fifteen. So 
so I think all the dimensions are visible now. So like this also it could be done. Right, so this is the solution to the question in the second quadrant. This is the second quadrant. Right. So normally we do not uh, let the dimensions to overlap on each other. Okay. So for that sake, if you want to move this 15 towards the right, then also it is okay. So we can move it on the on the right side. So now none of the dimensions are overlapping. So this is also a part of dimensioning that we do not let the dimensions overlap on each other. We do not let the dimensions cross each other. Right, so this is the solution in the second quadrant. Let us just write down control C, control V. So this is the solution in the second quadrant. This is second. Let us move this one towards the top. Let us make it parallel to the second quadrant. Right, so this is the solution in the second quadrant. Now, if I want to draw it in the third quadrant, so it will be exactly the mirror image of the one you have drawn in the first quadrant. So what you can do is you just copy this figure that you have drawn in the first quadrant, let us copy this, go to copy command, take this as the base point, let us place it over here, okay, it will be exactly the mirror image of this, so you go to mirror command, go to mirror command, select this whole object, okay, this is a single object, then press enter, Specify first point of mirror line. Let us say this is the first point of mirror line. This is the second point of mirror line. Click on these two points and then erase the source object. Yes or no? Yes, I want to erase the source object. So this is the solution in the third quadrant. Right? So we can just adjust the dimensions. Let us move it towards the left. That is okay. So the dimensions are visible now. Right. Next is the solution in the fourth quadrant. Let us name this also. Let us name it as third quadrant. This is third quadrant. Now to draw the projection in the fourth quadrant again it will be the mirror image of the one you have drawn in the second quadrant right so just go to copy command select this figure select the one you have drawn in the second quadrant okay press enter take this as the base point just place the figure over here then Select the whole figure. Okay. Let us just delete this once. Select the whole figure. Go to mirror command. Take this as the first point of mirror line. Take this as the second point of mirror line. Now erase the source object. Yes. Erase the source object. So this is the solution in the fourth quadrant once you have drawn it let us just move it towards the top and let us name it as the fourth quadrant control c control v so this is fourth quadrant 
right so this is the solution to the question when your line ab was perpendicular to vp and parallel to hp okay and we had to draw the projections in all the four quadrants right so i suppose this is clear to you thank you very much